You are watching the Manjaro Beginners Tour, and today we are discussing the Arch User Repository right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, we made it to the end of the series, and I see a light at the end of the tunnel. It's a train ready to run us over. That's right, if you click the link in the description, it will take you to the Cup of Linux website, where I have all the show notes for all the videos in this series. And here you will have a video index, along with other articles of interest, uh, my borderless window theme, and a message appealing to you to mention to me if I forgot to add something to this video series. And I'm sure I forgot a lot of stuff, but the beauty of this is I can always come back to this stuff uh, at a later time. So that's good stuff indeed. All right, we're going to discuss the Arch User Repository. In the last episode, we talked about package management. Let's have a look at that slide I put up in the last episode where I showed you that long command sudo add apt repository ppa colon slash slash website slash package x and sudo apt get update and sudo apt get install package x. <sighs> Gosh, if you had a lot of packages to install, you know, you might give yourself carpal tunnel typing all of those long commands. Why type long commands when you can just type a simple command like yawart package x? What does yawart stand for? That's yet another user repository tool. We'll get to that shortly, though. We're not going to use yawart just yet. Before using the Arch User Repository, I strongly suggest that you visit the page on the Arch User Repository and read through this documentation. You need to have an understanding of what this is before you start using it. While Manjaro does have AUR support, if we right-click the POW sign here and go into the Package Manager, and we click here under Settings and Preferences, and we go to the AUR tab, you're going to see here that AUR support is not enabled by default. But if we go into our terminal here, and we go Yawart Icons, it is available through the terminal by default. Just thought I'd make you aware of that. I am going to be demonstrating the AUR through the GUI, but I'm also going to explain it through the terminal. So basically, building packages from the AUR does involve uh, having the base devel packages installed, which, if you're using the Manjaro flagship XFCE desktop, or you're using MCOL, uh, ships with those packages automatically. All right, this is the AUR home right here. Okay, and from here, clicking on the packages will let you search for AUR packages, and in this case. I'm going to be building Compiz. All right. And uh, for today's example, I want to grab Shadow Kyogre's Compiz Core. So I'm going to click on this. All right. And then I'm going to download the snapshot. All right. I'm going to save the file. I'm going to open up my file manager here. I'm going to go to Downloads, where this file resides, and I'm going to right-click, and I am going to extract this package here. 
all right, you're going to see I have a folder, and in that folder is a package build. Uh, right click. I'm going to copy this. Open up my terminal. And I'm going to change directory. You see, we got our package built in here. Now, if I want to build this thing, I just run make package. You can see here, make package is compiling this on the fly. Once make package has completed, let's have a look and see what we got here. You're going to notice I've got two packages that I can install. One of them is compiz slash dtk and then compiz core. To install, we'll just simply run pacman tac capital U. That means upgrade. You can also use the dash U switch to downgrade a package. Okay, and then we're going to go compiz tac core tab. Pressing the tab key will complete the uh, statement. Put in your password. And uh, we can install that. Right click on the POW icon. Select Package Manager. See this gear here? Click that. Install Local Packages. Navigate to where your package is located. That's for me in Downloads. Compiz Core, and then Compiz GTK, and press Open for that, and it'll install that with the graphical interface. Okay, and our package is installed. Let's get an understanding of what these package builds actually are, since we built one using Make Package. Let's look at it and see what it is. package build here is basic instructions for things that is going to be needed to build this thing. So, it's got some licensing information in here. Tells it what it needs. Needs lib uh, SVG, dbus, glue, libslt. A lot of packages here that it needs. Okay, no problem. And it gives instructions on how to build the thing. Okay? Then as we go further down here, you're going to see there's an SSA 256 sum here. Okay, Now sometimes you may be building a package and it'll give you an error saying it can't verify the hash. All right? In which case, what may have happened is the developer of the application or package may have updated and the maintainer of the package build hasn't updated package build with the new SHA sum. In which case, you're going to have to manually visit the website that the tarball is listed on. You're going to have to get the SHA sum, and you're going to have to update this data yourself right here before rebuilding the package. That is probably one of the most common errors that I've had, um, but sometimes it could simply be as simple as not having uh, the right dependencies and that sort of thing defined in here, whoever makes the package build, if they don't list all of the necessary dependencies and this thing goes to build it, it'll spit out an error because um, apparently there was another package that was needed to build the thing and it is not in the list. So basically, these are instructions for building. You'll see there's an I-686, an i or the x8664. So you would need to, so uh, in my case for mcol, I'm going to have to build this twice, one for the 64-bit and one for the 32-bit, so I have versions for each of these. So basically, this is what the package build is. It's just instructions for building uh, the packages, and from time to time, you're going to have to go into this and edit it.
in order to get a proper build. Again, that's where the documentation comes in handy and why I suggest that you read through this. Um, there's the blue links on package builds. There is a page that explains the package builds a little bit more perspicuously than I have covered in this video. Now that I've given you an explanation of what we have there, let's talk about Yaourt, which is a great helper, instead of having to use Make Package to build packages. Uh, I'll open the Package Manager here. We're going to go in here and do Preferences. Okay, I'm going to go into AUR. And I'm going to enable an AUR support. You can search AUR by default. I like that one. Check updates from the AUR. I have that one enabled too. But I do want confirmation when building packages. I want to see what's happening step by step. So, I have that one disabled. Let's go ahead and close this. So, we're going to do a search for Compiz. And look at all these nice little options we have now. Because of the AUR search is enabled in here, there's a lot of packages in here that we can build. Alright, and so uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab BCOP. I think that, um, I forgot what comes after... Uh, Compass Court, it, that's neither here nor there, because uh, if I get it wrong, I'll fix it later. <laughs> this is just for demonstration purposes. So we're just going to click Install, and then click the check mark here. Okay, it's going to give us a transaction sub summary for Compass BCOP. All right, and then it's going to give us a progress here. Do we want to edit the package build? If you select yes, okay, it's going to ask you what you want to edit it with. Okay, Nano. All right, and now we can see all the data in here, and we can edit this if necessary right here. Uh, control X to exit. Continue building, of course. Press Enter by default, and that is the same as pressing the uh, capital Y. All right, and it's going to start building this package. Once the build is completed, it's going to ask you for your password. And then it's going to ask you if you want to install it. Uh, pressing Enter is the same as pressing the capital Y. Enter again. The transaction has successfully finished. Let's go ahead and close this. So, pretty much, that's installing AUR packages from the GUI. But to be honest with you, it's just so much easier for me to open up the terminal and just type in uh, a simple command here. All right. Let's do a search. Yaourt. And, um, hmm, what do I want to install uh, this time? We done some comp is, but I'm actually going to be building those packages later. Let's uh, think about something different. How about um, icons? Alright. We've got a lot of icons in here that we can actually build here. And uh, let's pick one out. Okay, we have uh, elementary USU icons. Hmm. Let's try that one. So, I'm going to type in 56. Do I want to edit the package build? No. But if it fails, maybe I do want to. All right. You're going to see that it detected that I have uh, a dependency that it needs, and it's already installed. Okay. Now it asks me, do I want to continue building it? Of course I do. Once it's done building... It's going to need your password. Then it will ask if you want to continue installing it. 
proceed with the installation. That wasn't too difficult to do at all, was it? So at the end of the day, the Arch User Repository brings an added layer of convenience to Arch Linux and to all of its derivatives, such as Bridge Linux, Arch Bang, and of course, what we're using right now, Manjaro. The Arch User Repository is not to be taken lightly, though. There are times that you're going to have problems getting some packages to build. And this is why you need to have a strong understanding of how this works. Because if a package build isn't working, you're going to need to go in and fix it. Or, even better, if you have a AUR account, you can report that to the maintainer uh, so that they can look into it and fix it. But this guide here will give you everything you need to know about the Arch User Repository, and it also has instructions on building your own package builds. For those of you out there who have that mindset for maintaining packages, uh, this is an excellent guide for you guys to check out. But that's all I have on the Arch User Repository. I hope I've given you guys enough food for thought to get you going on this. I'm going to finish out the series with a surprise video for you guys. You guys gave me enough thumbs up. Uh, there's enough of you who want it. So I'm going to finish out the Manjaro Beginners Tour with a net install. Yeah! I know you've got a lot of you guys are going to enjoy that. So until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.